Hey guys, uh, today's new lesson is on dividing integers. Uh, what you should know is that dividing integers is really uh, the exact same rules as when we multiplied integers. The only difference today is that we're dividing, not multiplying. So uh, just like we've already learned from multiplying, uh, when dividing, if the signs are the same, we're going to end up getting positive answers. So that could be something as easy as things that we've done before where they're both positive. Well, if they're both positive numbers, like positive 10 divided by positive 2, well, 10 divided by 2 is 5, and what we have to ask ourselves are, are the signs the same? Well, yeah, positive 10, positive 2 signs are the same. We get a positive answer, okay? But that also means that if the signs are the same, they both happen to be negative. So if I do something like negative 24 divided by negative 3, Okay, if I'm doing this problem, again, I just divide today, so 24 divided by 3 is 8. Okay, but then what we have to look at here is, are the signs the same? And in this case, since they're both negative, yes, they are the same. That means that we are going to get a positive answer. If the signs are the same, positive answer. And they could even give you something where uh, we're going to put it to you in fraction form, something like negative 15 divided by negative 3. Okay, well, 15 divided by 3 is 5, and again, since they're both negative, negative 15, negative 3, the signs are the same, positive answer, we get a positive 5. Okay, then on the other hand, if the same signs uh, give us a positive answer, then different signs have to give us a negative answer. So, uh, if you do something like, well, let's do negative 30 divided by 10, okay, well, 30 divided by 10 is 3. And then, again, since the signs are different, this is a negative 30, this is a positive 10, signs are different, we're going to get a negative answer. So I would get negative 3 there for that one. And it doesn't matter if the negative is on the first number, like the 30 there for that one, or, or if it's on the second number. If I do positive 18 divided by negative 6, um, it still just means that the signs are different. 18 divided by 6 is 3. 18 is positive, the 6 is negative, so the signs are different. It's going to give me a negative answer. So again, I get negative 3. Okay? Then the last thing we have to talk about is when you're dividing by 0. Okay? If I take a number, uh, let's take 0, and d divide that by any number. 0 divided by negative 13. Well, 0 divided by anything is just going to be 0. All right? Plain and simple. If you have nothing to start with, it doesn't matter how many ways you divide it, you still have nothing. Okay? The one that's tricky that we don't really probably understand is if you have a number and then we're trying to divide by zero. So that's important right here is that the zero is coming second. All right, well, this is a special case. If you actually type this into the calculator, negative five divided by zero, you're actually going to get an error message that shows up because we're not able to take a number and divide it uh, by zero. So what we say is if this is the case, it's this word that we this word that we call undefined. Okay, so we can we can do zero divided by anything like I did over here, but I can't do the second case where if you take any number and try to divide it by a zero, it's a little bit different of a case. Okay, example one. I got three of them here for you. I'm going to let you pause the video. Go ahead and try them on your own. Okay, hopefully you're back. So, well, step number one is just to go ahead and divide these. 28 divided by 4 is 7, okay? And then we're going to look. Well, this is a positive 28. It's a negative 4. The signs are different. And if the signs are different, that tells me I'm going to have a negative answer, okay? Negative answer when the signs are different. Part B, 60 divided by 12 gives me 5. I have a negative 60, a negative 12. The signs are the same. If the signs are the same, we get a positive answer positive 5. And then part C, 0 divided by negative 5. Well, anything divided by 0 is 0. So I get 0 for our answer. Hopefully you guys um, got A, B, and C correct. All right, and finally, our last problem. Putting it all together here, find the mean of those numbers. 3, negative 3, negative 5, 2, and negative 7. Well, remember what mean means. Mean means average, okay? We're going to find the average of these. Well, how do we find the average? Well, we have to add all those numbers together. 3 plus negative 3 plus negative 5 plus 2 plus negative 7. We're going to add all of those together 
and get an answer. And then when I'm done with that, since it's average, it means add them all together. And then we're going to divide here. We are going to divide whatever that answer is by the, the amount of numbers that there are. Well, we have one, two, three, four. There are five numbers up there that we're adding. So we're going to divide by five because there are five total numbers that we're adding together. Okay, but step one is to do all the adding. So taking this one step at a time, if I do 3 plus negative 3, that gives me 0. Then I have to do that 0 plus negative 5, well, that gives me negative 5. Negative 5 plus 2, well, the signs are different, so I subtract and get 5 minus 2 is 3. We keep the negatives, so we get a negative 3. Negative 3 plus negative 7, the signs are the same, so we add and get negative 10. And then I don't forget this 5 on the bottom here. Because there were five numbers I added together, I have to divide by five. And now we switch back to our dividing rules, which says 10 divided by five is two. And since the signs are different, it's a negative 10 on top, it's a positive five on the bottom, that tells me my answer is a negative two. Okay, uh, that's our lesson for today.